Welcome to your Daily Revolution podcast. Today's topic, deciding that everything works in your favor. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's go. This is your Daily Revolution. Live in prosperity. We show you how to do it. There's no luck about it. We got the strategic blue. Man, I'm grateful to be here with you guys on the podcast. Thank you for listening to the podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button below. Obviously, if it makes a difference for you. And if you're listening to this on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, or any of the platforms, SoundCloud, you just give me a like, give me a heart, and go and leave a review for us. By the way, if you have not checked out GameChanger4.com, we have our annual conference coming up. It's an incredible four days of true transformation. Check that out, GameChanger4.com. And with that said, let's dive into this. So, and I saw this, this post on Instagram. And it says something to the effect of, man, like, the moment you decide that everything will work out for you, everything works out for you. And I saw that, I'm like, dude, that's so true. You see, I'm gonna take you back, back in time. So 2009, I sell my Super Bowl ring. We're evicted out of our home in 2008. We lose all of our cars to repossession, lose our properties to foreclosure. Sell the Super Bowl ring, sell my wife's wedding ring. I mean, we are flat broke and I was in survival mode. But the whole time this is going on into 2010, now we're down in a 900 square foot town home in Pleasant Grove, Utah. And we file a bankruptcy. The whole time this is going on, in my mind and in my heart, I had this belief. Sometimes the belief was very small. But belief said this, it's gonna work out. Like one day, I will be on a stage speaking about how I overcame this. Now I know, you know, from here right now, it, it's kind of easy to say, but I want you to know back in 2008, Back in 2009, back in 2010, into 2011, 12 and 13, while I was knocking doors, I would have moments where I'm like, dude, are we going to make it? And sometimes I'd be tempted to throw in the, the towel, like to give up. But deep in my heart, I continued to have, again, my word is faith. I have this faith. It's going to work out. Like I have this belief, like it's going to work out. And then I see this quote on Instagram. I'm like, dude, that's so true. Like how many of you right now have that belief that it is going to be for my good? Like everything, I, I'm deciding that it's just gonna be good for me. I'm deciding to see a good part of this is let's talk about the recessions right now, right? We're in, a, we're in a kind of a crazy time. Some people are feeling the effects of interest rates having gone up and the government printing lots of money and chaos and frantic energy and just like, there's a lot of panic going on. And some people there's not, but this much I know, if you have a belief that it's going to work out and, and that people are like, well, how do you do that? Well, you, you can choose one of two options. You can come from a paradigm or a perspective of scarcity driven by fear and driven by doubt where everything is going to be horrible and it's going to, to crash and burn. And you might as well go move to the mountains and get guns and ammo and food storage and just shut the internet off and meditate like a, like a, a hermit. You know, you can't do anything about the government and these politicians and the, look at the blue and the red and all the politics. Like you can go down that route or you can go down the route of like, I don't know everything that's going on. But I do know who. And for September, the who is God and the who is me. God and me. Or for you, it's God and you. And I have a belief in a God who knows. I have a belief in a God who knows the intimate details of my life. From 10 years ago to being on the bottom to 10 years later to having an amazing team, to being a part of a very special and sacred work where we deal with the hearts and souls of men and women. Like I deal with hearts and souls, helping people to wake up and to rise and to become like just the most powerful version of themselves. I help people to solve the most expensive problems. That's what we do. And this doesn't happen unless I decide that everything is going to work out in my favor. You can make a decision right now. It's going to not work or it's going to work, but it's just a simple choice. Going through financial troubles, it's going to work out. Now you got to do work. You got to have your mind on, you got to look for the gift. 
but it will work out if you choose to do the work. Marriage, family, going through a tough time, near divorce. I, 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 I say that like it's some casual thing. And yet, what do I know? I know there's people out there struggling in their marriages, struggling to connect. Been married for 15, 20, 25 years, 30 years, or sometimes five years. And you're in a tough spot. I get it. But have the faith and the belief that it will work out for the better. If that means divorce, so be it. If that means you get through the rocky, tough times, so be it. Spiritually, what would happen if you just decided it's going to work out? And then physically, oh, I'm big boned. I can't lose weight. I can't gain weight. I'll never overcome this. There's a young lady in Florida, South Florida, and like she's going through fire. Met her on Instagram, never even met her in person, but I follow her and I shoot her some messages of encouragement at times. And she has the faith that everything's going to work out. It's amazing what happens when you just simply decide everything is going to work out for me in my favor. From selling the Super Bowl ring to filing a bankruptcy to selling, like having everything taken from us to rebuilding, that does not take place unless I have a belief system that says it is going to work out. So what might be possible for you, my friends, if you just made the decision today from here on out, everything works in my favor from here on out, everything works in my favor from here on out. Everything happening to me is good for me. Do that. And if you want more help with this, I invite you to go check out GameChanger4.com. That's our four day, like the most incredible experience. Check that out. GameChanger4.com. I appreciate you listening. Look, if this is a simple podcast, make a decision today that everything is going to work out. Everything is going to work out. Everything is going to be for my good. Doesn't mean you can sit back and do nothing. You gotta go work, right? You actually gotta go put in work. You actually gotta go do what's required. You actually gotta go hustle and grind and develop skills. You actually have to go hunt. And if you do the work, everything's going to work out. I appreciate listening. Share this with someone who needs to hear it. What's the one part of your life where you can start to say, this is going to work out. I'm out.